Today I'm going to chat with you about college, and many of you have heard me say that I think college is a bad idea, a bad way to spend time. Why would I say something like that? Stay tuned. Okay, let me get this out of the way right up front. I believe in education. I believe that it's a good idea for young people to learn how to do new things and to become skilled at doing those things. I think it's a good idea for adults to do the same. So why in the world would I be against college? Well, right now, 2019, the state of affairs in higher education, as it's called, is not a, a good state. The colleges are all heavily controlled by government requirements. You can't just go out and start your own college up and uh, it's, it's not legal. You have to be sanctioned by the government to do so. As such, it's a bureaucratic process that doesn't really allow much innovation. Going to college is, for 80% of the people going to college today, not a good idea. New things are not really taught at college. New things are happening out in the real world, in the workplace. People are coming up with ideas. They're doing new things. Once they have done those things, and then other people do those things, then those things are documented, and somebody that has done them becomes a college professor. Many, many, many years later, that college professor is an esteemed professor with tenure that is still teaching the things that that professor learned many, many, many years ago, or the things that he might have bothered to read that someone else put out more recently, some, some new stuff. But you're not getting new, fresh, great information for the most part. Now, there are some exceptions. I don't have a problem with someone going to college uh, because you're interested in being a surgeon or you're interested in bookkeeping or accounting, you're interested in, in crunching numbers. There are, are areas like that that it's perhaps a good way to learn. I would still argue that there are much better ways to learn even those important things than going to college. Uh, I, I think that you can do apprenticeships, not in our current society, not the way things are currently structured, but things could be structured so that you could learn so much more so much more quickly and actually remember it, enjoy it, make money while you're doing it, not rack up tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars of student debt. Um, there are way better ways to learn. Now, having said that, who should go to college? I would say that if you have interest or intent to be a government employee at any level, whether you want to be a, a congressperson or a uh, just a low-level planner or something like that, whatever level it is, you probably want to go to college. Get a master's degree. Get a doctorate in something. That will help you in the government environment. Uh, other places would be large companies that are, are kind of slow-moving. Uh, a company that has always required a bachelor's degree of their sales reps is probably going to continue that for a while. Now, the newer, faster-moving companies, as time goes by, they're not going to care. They're going to care about the results that you can produce. So kind of depends on what kind of work you want to get into. Beyond governments, here's another thought. If government does have rules that you can only be a physician, you can only be a medical doctor in the United States, for example, if you have gone to college and you have passed those requirements and been given a degree by a university. Well, in that case, yeah, you have to go through the whole college thing. But if you're a young person that's not really sure what you want to do, um, if you're hardworking, if you're motivated, if you're innovative, you have all these great ideas and this excitement to go out into the world, and you're 17 or 18 years old, and you're not sure exactly what you want to do, but you want to go out and explore, and you have this passion to go out and be successful, don't waste four years sitting in some boring room learning something you don't really care about. Go out and learn real things. Go travel the world, experience, find areas of interest and delve into them. Don't go to college. Again, if, you, if you're planning on a career in government work, it's a good idea. If you want to be a physician, you have to. You want to be a CPA, you probably have to. There are certain specific career fields that if you want to spend the rest of your life in them, go to college. But Or if you don't have that much energy or excitement or 
uh, I don't know, if you're not creative, if you don't want to work hard and, and go out on a limb, if you'd rather play it safe and just kind of relax, college is an easy way to go, especially if your parents will pay for it or you can get government to take the money from me and other innovative people that work hard. If you can get the government to take money from us and pay you and, and that's what you think your best bet is, maybe it's okay for you. I, I would still say that 80% of you that are planning to go to college or are currently in college, way better options. Way better options. I love you too much to see you waste the best four years of your life there.